Today I'm going to talk carrier packets. I had a question this past week about carrier packets and what should go in and I think you're going to be surprised. Hello everybody, welcome to Trucking Topics Today where I provide information for your trucking journey. My name is Tony and I am your host here on the channel. Let's get right into carrier packets. I had a uh, question from a uh, gentleman this past week. I had helped him uh, to secure his DOT number and quickly, by the way, if you would like your uh, authority done in an hour or less, please go to fmcsaauthority.com and not only will it be done quickly, but you will also not have to pay a thousand dollars for it either okay all right so he asked me during this um, period um, about carrier packets and for those of you who don't know a carrier packet is information that a load broker needs uh, in order to do business with you. So this is information on your company. Uh, you'll give uh, them um, your details, such as your EIN number and contact information, uh, your DOT number, of course, and um, you know how they're gonna pay you and uh, a few other documents so that they can verify that you are indeed a viable trucking operation. Now, uh, in the past, uh, these carrier packets have been very lengthy uh, into the teens of pages okay um, it's that's not required anymore um, you know before you had to give references and um, uh, supporting all types of supporting paperwork and those days are pretty much gone these days load brokers just kind of want to get rid of their crappy loads right <laughs> So um, they just want to get right to the chase. Are you a legal company? Do you have the equipment that I need? And will you take this uh, $1.50 load? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I, in my carrier packet, I had three sheets of paper. And I want to tell you guys, what you want to do is uh, make an electronic file on your computer or on your phone or whatever it is that you use for communications and you'll make a, a file folder and you'll just call it um, you can just call it carrier packet okay and inside of there you will go in and this is where you're going to store these three sheets of paper okay now um, if you guys want more of a step-by-step -step process by the way whether it be for carrier packets or uh, how to get your permits, um, so forth, where you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time, you can Zoom uh, with me or have a phone call with me. Just go to tonytime.co and you can set up a uh, appointment right there on my calendar, okay? so. After you get your electronic file folder set up on your communication device, these are the three things you're going to put in it. Ready? All right, here we go. Number one, you're going to put in an information sheet, and this will be the first sheet. And I'm going to tell you, as I said, this was what I sent out, these three pieces of paper. And I got to tell you, I was never refused, okay? Um, so this will do. If you wanna send in more stuff, you send in more stuff. But this is what I did and I never got turned away. Number one, information sheet. The information sheet is going to list your company name, your DOT number, the address of course, all your contact information, okay? Your phone numbers, um, you need to have in there your EIN number so that they can fill out uh, the, the 1099 information and um, email address, contact person, right? And they're a contact person. Now you're just gonna go into Word or whatever it is you use, um, Google Docs, whatever, and you're just gonna put this in order, okay? Um, just make it look nice. And, uh, and include all this information. So you're also um, going to include payment information because you want to be paid for hauling these crappy loads, okay? <laughs> so um, you'll put in your routing number 
and your account number because when the broker receives this information he's making a file for you tap 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 he's 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 making a file so it's best that you just give him everything up front where he's not calling you back saying hey, i need a way to pay you okay um and so that is and if you want to you can attach a a copy um of a uh voided check to the account that you want uh, your money sent to okay just like at the bottom uh, portion of the contact information sheet so the contact information sheet is the thing that's going to take you the longest and really you should be done with it in five or ten minutes okay depending on how much you want to format it and make it look pretty and so forth but basically that information sheet is, is giving the broker just enough information to tell him that you are a viable going concern uh, you are a legal trucking company, okay, and um, he's going to be willing to do business with you. Um, second item, number two, is a copy of your COI. You already have that, and I'm sure you have it in, uh, in an electronic form. Just move a copy of it and put it into this file that I'm uh, having you build, okay? Number three. This is the last document document you have to have in there. For some reason, even though you're authorized, a lot of brokers want to see your um, letter of authority that you get from the FMCSA about a week after you uh, are authorized. comes in the mail. Um, if you don't have a copy of that for some reason, it is possible to get one. I don't know what the procedure is for that. Um, I know that some places will will have you pay a fee to get it, but I think there's a way to get it for free from the FMCSA, and I believe all you have to do is freaking call them, I'm pretty sure. Um, by the way, the number to the FMCSA, check it out, okay? Copy it down, put it somewhere, and it's not like calling the IRS, okay? They pick up pretty quickly, they're very friendly, they can help you with anything, okay? So keep a, keep a note of that. Um, so um, those are the three items. That's it. Your information sheet, a copy of your current COI, certificate of insurance, and uh, a copy of your letter of authority. And whenever you're talking to a new broker and um, you want to uh, do business with them, all you got to do is attach this file and it will send all three documents over to them. OK, so that is uh, quick and easy. That way you're not scrambling for these documents last minute, because when you guys move on from Amazon and you will. OK, um, there comes a time where, you know, like when I was done, Amazon was like my number four broker. OK, and I hardly ever had to reach down to them. Um, but when you move on, because Amazon doesn't request uh uh, the carrier packet. Um, but when you move on and you start using the DAP board and one, two, three load board and all these others, um, you're going to come across um, brokers and CH Robinson where they're going to want a carrier packet from you. Okay. Don't, don't overdo it. These are the, those are the, we're the only three things you need. All right. Um, listen, if you want some free time with me, um, you can try going to truckingtopics1on1.com to see if you can find anything there. I give away 15-minute consultations. I only book two weeks out, so, you know, it's about a 70-30 that you might not find a date available, but just keep trying back, okay? And, uh, you know, I think we're going to call it quits right there. Um, subscribe and like, please. Uh, it really helps me out. helps out the channel. It's a free way to support me. Little support, please. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, you all have a fantastic week. And I will see you in a few days with another video. As always, 